one. Hey, it's Risa G coming in from her cluttered kitchen for another Tip Tuesday. Uh, this one is a very important subject for cleanliness in the kitchen and to prevent something that will gross the crap out of you um, if it ever happens to you. And that is an infestation of the flower weevil. That's the F-L-O-U-R, flower weevil, W-E-E-V-I-L-S. One of the most disgusting bugs on the planet. And if you get an infestation of it, it will scare the crap out of you. You won't know what to do, especially if you're a new cook or a newlywed or someone with a brand new kitchen. Um, and you won't know how to prevent it. So um, when I was first married and we were in our first apartment, I went one morning to open up the cabinet to get some flour, to make some pancakes. And I opened it up and about 50 of these little bugs went flying out and ju just made me jump and screech and scream. And Steve came running in, what's wrong, what's wrong? I went, oh my God, the most disgusting bugs just flew out of this thing. And he went, oh. I said, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it here. We'll deal with it after. We ran across the street to the diner. We had breakfast. I came back and I cleaned up my kitchen. We didn't have the internet. I didn't know to look up what to do. I called my mother. I explained to her what happened and she told me a few things to do. And so I'm gonna tell you what to do and the cheapest, best tip for preventing it from happening ever. Okay. If it does happen to you, this is what you do first off. You take everything out of your pantry, everything out of every cabinet in your kitchen. You separate out things that are in solid, you know, sealed tubs, haven't been opened yet, cans, bottles, whatever. You take all that and you put it on one side. Everything that's in a box, you throw it out. Every cereal, Unless it's in a sealed box, it may be fine if it's in a sealed box. You put the sealed boxes aside, brand new things aside. You empty every old thing, everything that's been opened. You throw out every box. You empty every con jar, every bottle, every container of anything with a dry good. Grains, beans, cereal, and um, you know, pasta crackers, any of the things, anything with a grain in it, anything with wheat in it, corn, anything. That's the first thing. Second thing, you take cleanser and you wash out head to toe, bottom to top, your pantry and all of your closets in, in the kitchen and possibly even in your, uh, any room that's right next to it. Okay. Just anything that's in there that might be dirty, whatever, you remove it, and you then you take something that cleans cobwebs, and you make sure to get anything that looks like a little web. Then you go and you buy all new bottles, cans, jars, all boxes of all your grains, quinoa, all-purpose flour, anything, all right? And then you go and you buy yourself a couple of bags or jars of something called a bay leaf, okay? Now everybody who cooks knows about bay leaves. You throw them into soups and stews. They add a lightly floral, herbal scent and flavor to things. But the one thing that a bay leaf does that nobody tells you about is it prevents these little bugs. Okay, you put it into every can, every jar, every jar, every bottle, every bag. All right, I've got one in this bag. And then you put it back in your perfectly clean pantry and that will prevent them because they don't like the smell of them. All right, that's all it is, is the scent. They don't like the scent of it. Okay, now some other things you can do after you uh, buy new stuff. You can freeze all the new grains, flour, beans, freeze them 
for two days. Then take them out and put a bay leaf in and put it in your cabinet and you should be good to go. You won't see another one. If you do, you'll see a very few, very minimal amounts of them. And what you do is you kill them because you don't want them to meet and you don't want eggs, all right? See, that's the other thing. If you buy brand new and you freeze them, if you freeze it, it will kill the eggs. Any egg that might be in there. Now, see, the stores don't know anything about this. Even the manufacturer doesn't know that there are eggs in there. They suspect there might be eggs in there. And so that's why you freeze it. You freeze it to, prevent, to kill off any eggs or any bugs that might actually be in there. There might be some adults in there too. And it will kill off anything and then you stick it in your new container or your clean container you washed put them in through the dishwasher if you can before you refill them all right and that will do it okay but you can also if you're having a huge infestation you have to call a professional see i didn't do that every time i saw one i killed it i smashed it i stepped on it i hit it i swatted it whatever and I killed everyone that I possibly could kill. Instead of calling maintenance in my building and saying, I need a professional here to kill off these bugs, I just took it on myself. I also had my mother come and clean top to bottom. And in those days, I didn't have the internet. I didn't think to even go to the library or anything to come up with anything. Um, the only thing that helped me actually was a couple months later, I saw an article on organic pest control in, um, Vegetarian Times magazine, I think it was. It was either Vegetarian Times or Organic Gardening. It was one of those. And I saw the thing about the bay leaf and I ran out and bought bay leaves and stuck it in everything just to prevent it from ever happening. And I was very lucky in my old kitchen, in the old house, uh, we never saw one. In this house, I think I saw one fly out of the cabinet one time, I killed it, and I never saw another. So I immediately ran out and bought new bay leaves and new um, flour and new grains, and I never saw another one. So I just wanted to give you those tips. Remember, bay leaf, and freeze all new grains and beans for the first two days and then repackage them and you will be good to go. So I hope this helped you out and um, there'll be more tips on the next Tip Tuesday. Thanks for coming into my kitchen. Bye.